Hi, I'm Andrew Stanton, and you're about to see Somewhere in the Arctic, which was my second year student film at CalArts. It's basically uh, what goes on in the Arctic most of the day. <laughs> I was very late in high school figuring out that I wanted to be in animation. I found out about CalArts just at the last minute, and, and I missed the bus. I didn't get accepted my first year of college, and so I went to a more local college, uh, University of Hartford. Really, it kind of gave me a leg up on just the foundations of art, and I became a much better artist, a much more serious artist, and um, applied the next year. So my second year of college is really when I got into CalArts. I honestly don't remember where the spark was for Summer in the Arctic. I think it came graphically. I loved the idea of a line across the screen, and because of the 2D aspect, we'd be able to play with depth, and so I could make it look a little more finished by using all the white. It's really hard for me to watch this sometimes from an animation standpoint because I was one of the weaker animators in my group. But fortunately, the content was strong enough that it overrode the, the limitations of my learning curve of animation at the time, and which is a really good lesson to have learned. The stronger your content is, the more forgiving people are going to be about the technical aspects that you might have either had to purposely short change on or you just didn't, didn't, weren't aware of at the time. Somewhere in the Arctic made it into the Festival of Animation as well as the other short film I did, A Story. And it was because John had his short films from Pixar in the festival at the same time that he saw my short films. And that's how the two of us met. So if I have one lesson that I've learned big time, it is uh, finish your student film, finish your short film, and get it out there.